Hi everyone, it's Tuesday the uh, 4th of May and it's 10 past 5 in the afternoon. And I thought it was time for a barricade lamp update as it's been a while. Um, so, as you can see over the last sort of few months or so, I've collected up quite a few. There's actually three more on the floor. So, we'll start this end and we'll work our way back. Most of these have got batteries in, actually they've all got batteries in except these two. So, this one's closest. I'm going to start with this one. This I got from a friend. Um, it's a satellite 360 but it's missing its circuit. Um, I'm going to see if I can get like a Dorman Unilamp circuit to fit it or something. But at the moment, this is what it came with. One of these. And it had one of those um, 6 volt battery terminal covers stuck to the bottom of it. It did come off so I've glued it back on. But uh, it actually works quite well. But uh, yeah, I'll see if I can get another circuit to fit. Because I've got some spare Unilamp circuits. So yeah, that's the satellite. In good condition otherwise. And uh, quite a nice lens on it as well, quite a nice output. Next up, I got that from the same friend, Gas. A little bit of a faded body, but what do you expect after all these years? This is a Tildorn Pilot 360, it's the Mark I version, I believe. It's got these tabs for the metal handle rather than the plastic. And on the top, you can see it's only got four little dimples where uh, the later ones had eight. I'll show you that here. And I've got a later version here. I think the lugs are different for the handle to accommodate a plastic handle. And on the top, you've got eight little dimples. Other than that, there's not really a lot of difference. This one's got like a notch there. This one. Oh yes it has, it's here. So yeah, they are pretty much identical apart from the handle and the dimples on top of the lens. And here's another one that I bought very recently. OCS written on this one. Other than that it's basically the same as the other Tildorn Mark 1, which is only my second one. Um, and if you actually look on eBay, you'll see that this sold for 82 quid, and that's not what I paid for it. I actually lost that bidding. And a little bit later, the seller had relisted this lamp in auction format with um, a best offer option. So I stuck in an offer. The seller came back with a counter offer offer of £60. I can't remember what I actually offered first. And I did think about it and I remembered seeing lamps with this, these Mark I Tildorn lamps with various companies uh, names embossed on them go for around about the same price. I've seen them sell for that sort of price so I agreed to it. I thought that was fair. Some might think I overpaid but I thought that was fair considering what I've seen them sell for in the past. So, this one does have a battery in it. It's not a bad lamp, really. I'm not going to get the full effect at the minute because it's bright daylight. The sun has decided to shine today. It's been horrible, wet, and windy since yesterday afternoon. Right. Actually, while we're on the subject. Actually, no, we've moved on from that. I'll I'll get to what's on the floor later. Might as well stick to what's on the desk rather than desk. Desk rather. Right. So one, two, three, four. Here I got from the same seller, not at the same time. Um, I think this one was the cheapest because it wasn't working. Um, seller said bulb had gone. Bulb was fine actually. The issue was just dirty contacts. I had to clean every contact including the switch, but now, hopefully, 
And that's a lemon lens. This one's slightly darker, but it doesn't really look like a amber lens or a lemon lens to me. It looks like it's somewhere in between. Especially when you compare it to this amber lens. That one all works. Works fine now, actually. Now we've got this one with a green body. I don't know the manufacturer of these. If anyone does, please let me know. Um, but yeah, anyway. The only difference is this coloured body. And the only other thing I can tell you is that they come from Germany. So I don't know if the different coloured bodies were for different agencies maybe. But again, just a simple, about the same flash rate. There is nothing in this hole, so I'm guessing that hole is for another option for these lamps. Like um, a switch to switch between steady and flashing. Which obviously this doesn't have, these are just flashing these two. I'm going to need more floor splice, I should have cleared a bit more floor before doing this. Anyway, that's those two. This one is similar, the body shape is the same, and the bolt's the same, the base is the same. That's the same, lemon lens. Everything is the same, apart from this one's got format written on it. And it's yellow of course. <laughs> And it's got a scaffolding bracket on, so I don't know if this is a later version. I don't know when these brackets um, came in on various lamps. Well, another one that works fine. They're actually quite decent lenses. There's a decent um, light output on them. They look nice, bright and clear. So I quite like these three. One of them looked dim because it hasn't got a very good battery in it. I must remember before I put these away in the cupboard that I've got to take the batteries out. So here's this one, um, which is a Wemus, Vemus. Germans pronounce a W as a V, right? So it would be Vemus, I would presume. If I've got that wrong, feel free to correct me. So this one has got the two options. This has got standard on-off switch. And if I press this one. And switch it to flash which again has the same slower flash rate. Would I be right to assume that in Europe the flash rate is actually slower than the UK? Because a lot of my um, European lamps that I've got in the collection do have quite a slow flash rate. Anyway this is also LED, twin LED and of course <sighs> bulky um, scaffolding bracket on the back. Now I think that's got a swivel lens. No, it just wobbles. But, uh, that's um, not a bad output on that either to be honest. Quite a large body. It's quite wide for some reason. I mean, there's your two things to put your batteries in. You put one or two in these. If you're wondering why you have that option, why they will work on one when you can put two in it, that's because on lamps like this, the batteries are wired in parallel, which means you can double your um, running time on the lamp. So, for example, say on one battery this lamp lasted a week, you put two in there, that would last two weeks, in theory. <clears throat> that was just a very, very crude example by the way it's not it's not exact by any stretch of the imagination anyway this is the next one it's another dormant lamp my favorite so i could actually tell you exactly what this one is and that one actually uh i believe these were or maybe still are i don't know i don't really do any traveling on motorways used to illuminate the um, mobile signs because these are white and I've got the um, press button there it's also got a warning on the side here it's the first LED product I've seen with such a warning um, LED radiation do not stare into being class 2 LED product I've never actually seen that on an LED product but uh, 
if you get that in the face that is pretty bright so I don't recommend actually staring at it but, you know it's got the button on there for quick deployment on the motorway it's a traffic B light it's got the blank lens that side on the blank plate so if you don't need one of these because there's no switch in there to move LED Quite a nice lamp, quite nice condition. I didn't have one like this, so I've got just about every other colour apart from a clear one or a white one. And I've got a white one. I've got blue, I've got green, I've got red, I've got amber. And I know they did all of those in various um, models as well, like traffic B light, highlight, and whatnot. So I'm actually glad I've got that. Then we've got uh, this bugger. I bought uh, about a month or so ago in red. All of mine are amber and I think I've got about six in amber now including the Australian version I've got but not one in red and even rarer is one of these old Dorman traffic lamps in blue. Uh, this unfortunately has got a crack. It's not this side is it? It's this side. Got cracking. I believe it came from Germany as well. Um, I don't think I could be wrong again, but I don't think we actually used these red ones in the UK. Not back then. This is, you know, a 70s lamp, 1970s lamp. And as I said before, it is basically a Dietz 650 because uh, Dorman got the uh, what do you call it? The rights to produce the lamp here under the Traffy Lamp name and under Dorman Smith but other than that name it's they're the same lamp I think the flash rate was changed as well I think these ones flash a bit faster although this one doesn't flash this one is a uh, study burn nice red one I'm going to run some super glue across that crack when I remember to get some super glue next time I'm out uh, a little bit sun worn, a bit sun faded, but still a nice lamp. I don't mind anything like that on my lamp. It is nice to have, you know, very good condition mint lamps, but I do like the scruffy ones as well. Now, this one I traded with a friend on Facebook. This one's the uh, Synchro Guide one, so it's got the little infrared receiver up the top here. On the other side, Got the two infrared transmitters there and uh, anyone driven on a motorway would have probably seen these in operation if I press the button see and the idea is they will flash on the road fine like this but the idea is you'd have these lined up with another one front to back so this bit the front faces the back of the next lamp because of the sensors and they'll flash in sync and I usually use to mark lane closures and to just gradually um, guide the traffic into the next lane that's open. Um, and I have actually seen these in use around here um, on a roundabout by a dual carriageway actually. Uh, by the Northern Distributor Road or also known as the Broadland Northway which goes around North Sea. It's only been open to two, three years, something like two years I think. It was a relatively new dual carriageway. But they're doing some work near one of the roundabouts so they've closed a few lanes off so they've got these in use. I have got another one in the shed, quite a scuffy one. Scruffy one rather, not scuffy. So I could put two of these together uh, and you could also get um, synchro lamps in this style which will work with these. I've got one in blue, so I can set them up. <laughs> Can't wait to do that. So, put that on the floor. The next one I got is this. It does look red in some lights, but it's actually a magenta cone light. Don't know what magenta was used for. Well, I've been told. I just keep forgetting. But that is the Nissan Acone lamp in magenta. I haven't got a red one or a blue one. I think they did these in blue. I know they did the Dorman cone lights in blue. But 
but because those colours were primarily you know produced for things like the emergency services they're pretty hard to get hold of <clears throat> and the last one came from the same friend I got that satellite and that gas till dawn 360 lamp is this one um, this one wasn't actually working at the wires had come off the switch and the lamp holder just needed a bit of solder in fact the lamp holder is hiding behind there somewhere but uh, I actually decided to take the lamp holder and switch out of my extremely scruffy one with odd sides both of the sides of my other one were odd they didn't match and put it in this one and actually just have a decent working one in the collection so uh, that's exactly what I got. I can't remember if this actually reaches the button. Just. That's another steady burn. This is Till Dawn as well. I don't know what they actually call it. Doesn't actually say. I can't remember what Till Dawn called this. But um, a company called Wolf bought the rights to this and they still make them, but they make them for like quarry environments and environments where there could be a like explosive gases I have no idea what that was <laughs> that made me jump a little bit though anyway yeah so you will see some of these with the wolf lamp name on it but uh, these I have seen these on some videos of the railways being used on the tractor as a possession lamp that's good timing because my battery is literally about to die on the camera and this is the last lamp. Um, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, I have seen this in use on the railways. It's where you would normally find lamps like this. The red ones, as a, you know, they use them as a position lamp on the track. And whatnot. So, oh, there's one more thing I want to quickly show you that's not actually lamp related. And it's not a traffic cone. It's a small delineator post. No idea if I pronounced that word right. Um, they just unscrew like that. Bought a job lot four of these. And I didn't realise at the time that the person selling these is also a collector on um, the Facebook groups. <laughs> Not until he um, commented on my post saying he's got more of these available. Um, but yeah, he was only charging 15 quid for these, and I think the postage was like 12 pounds. So I thought, something different, you know, different to traffic cones. If I wanted to, you know, hide them away quite easily and use them. I do believe the um, sleeve is still legal. Conforms to British standard, blah, 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 blah JSP Limited. meaning to check JSP's website just to see um, what the prices of these are brand new but, uh, just thought I'd show you that quickly before the battery dies anyway I need to have a clear up in here it's also my tea time and I'm getting hungry so I'm gonna end the video now thanks a lot for watching if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down if you have any comments you know where to put them in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.